After two partially successful tests, SpaceX is looking ready with Starship SN10 for the third high altitude flight test of the fully reusable rocket. On 23rd of February, Starship SN10 fired up its Raptor engines for the first time for a static fire. However, the test didn't go as per plan. Elon Musk wrote on Twitter that one of the three Raptor engines is a suspect and they are swapping it out. Engine swap outs have been a regular procedure for SpaceX's Starship team as they continuously push the envelope of both Starship and Raptor prototypes' fidelity and implement major design changes and upgrade along the way. Of the five Starship prototypes, including Starhopper, with intentional flight under their belts, all required at least one engine replacement before being cleared for launch. Within 18 hours of Tuesday's suspected Starship SN10 static fire, SpaceX dispatched a replacement Raptor engine from the nearby storage site. Within 12 hours, the faulty engine had been removed and the backup engine was installed in its place. Another 12 hours after that, SpaceX team cleared the launch pad for Starship SN10's second attempt for static fire. This time, the test went successfully and SN10 is looking good for the launch. So all in all, after Tuesday's static fire, it took SpaceX less than 48 hours to pour through the test data, conclude that one of the SN10's three Raptors were a suspect, select a replacement engine, remove the faulty one, install the replacement, and fire up Starship SN10 for a second time. Even SpaceX's world-class Falcon rockets would have had a hard time challenging the engine swap turnaround. To further explain why this is a huge achievement, let's take the example of NASA's SLS core stage. As you might know, the booster stage of SLS underwent a hot static fire in mid-January. The booster stage, outfitted with four former Space Shuttle RS-25 engines, will reportedly require more than three weeks for team to swap out a faulty valve in one of the four engines. The first SLS core stage suffered an early abort during its static fire. As of the making of this video, NASA is now working towards a second static fire attempt in mid-March, a full two months later. A TFR for SN10 is already on the place, and looking at the scheduled road closures, it looks like Starship SN10 might launch for 10 kilometers as early as on 1st of March. However, as we have seen with SN8 and SN9, these dates might get pushed ahead a bit. Outside of the Boca Chica rocket facility, SpaceX is doing some really exciting things. SpaceX's grand vision for Starship includes not only trip to Mars, but also regular point-to-point -point flights right here on Earth. This would scheme the Earth's outer atmosphere, reducing travel times for regular international flights from many hours to less than 60 minutes. These starships would need to take off from somewhere though, and rockets are a bit more disturbing to local residents than a traditional aircraft. So part of SpaceX's plan for regular use of starship for point-to-point -point travel on Earth is converting oil rig platforms into floating spaceports. Elon Musk has discussed about these plans before, and SpaceX recently went so far as to purchase two oil rigs, which it nicknamed Phobos and Deimos after the moons of Mars. These are currently in the process of being retrofitted for the use with starship and they will be stationed in the Gulf of Mexico, near SpaceX's Texas development site. Elon Musk also tweeted that one of the two platforms could be at least partially operational by the end of 2021. SpaceX will initially transport propellant to these launch pads from their facility. However, eventually these platforms will be capable of producing their own propellants using the Sabatier process. To add to the excitement, Starship won't be transported to these launch pads using large ships, they will just launch from Boca Chica on a suborbital trajectory and land on the floating launch complex. Something that will be really cool to see. So that's all for today's video. If you like the content, do consider subscribing the channel. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.